episode of Quilt with the Stars is brought to you by Baby Lock for the love of sewing and Koala Cabinets, sewing furniture custom built in America. Hi, you're watching Quilt with the Stars. We're back with another episode, and not one, but two guests today, Joni and Melanie from TaylorMade. Welcome, you guys. Thank you. It's Great so, to be here. Yeah, it's so cool to have two people at the table. It's it's the first time it's happened. <laughs> <laughs> We're happy to be the first. <laughs> yes, yes, and you're also, you do so much in the quilt world and in your lives. You're actually sort of like 60 different people. I mean, I feel like we have more than two people actually sitting at the table, or three. Um, so, so Joni and Melanie are here from TaylorMade. Made. And I usually open this show by saying, you know, this person does this in the quilt world and they do this and they're an author or they're an educator. But I really struggled in <laughs> figuring out how to define what it is that you all do. So I'd like to give it to you to tell me and everybody, what is tailor-made? What do you do? Well, that's kind of actually kind of hard to answer. <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> um, we are, I guess the best way to say what we do in a nutshell yeah. would be to say we're a creative resource for the textile companies. Cool. Um, what we do is we service um, fabric companies mm -hmm. and we provide quilts, um, we design, we make. Mm -hmm. um, we also provide um, trade show booth design, um, setup. Um, if they need something made for marketing purposes, sure. whatever. Um, so we just kind of try to fill all the little gaps mm -hmm. that um, when things need to be made creatively. Absolutely, and in the do. quilt world, many, many things need to be made creatively. It's a yeah. creative industry. Yeah, and did, we yeah, have a yeah. great time with it. Joni, did she miss anything? <laughs> I think she covered it pretty well. <laughs> I, think, I think the words creative resource, that is really, really true. Yeah. It's an excellent way to describe that. It really covers the gamut of what we do. Absolutely, and, and so tell me about, I mean, you know, how, how did you get into this? I mean, how does one become a creative resource? I know you have backgrounds in art, you have backgrounds, you know, in different things. Tell mm -hmm. me a little bit about when you began even sewing and thinking creatively in the way that you do today. We've always sewn. Our mom was a big sewer and sewed our outfits. We always had coordinating Easter and Christmas outfits <laughs> from our mom. Thank you, mom. <laughs> Thank you, mom. <laughs> so we've always sewn, and Melanie really sewed a lot younger than I did. I didn't really start until college. Sure. And then we just kept kept sewing and yeah. it became a, as she was in her design work, mm -hmm. it led into this. Right. Yeah. right. We worked for, I, I was started my career designing commercial design mm -hmm. for fabric mm -hmm. and um, the, the company that I worked for needed some samples made. And I was like, oh, my sister sews. You know, it was kind of one uh -huh. of those things that, um, well, she's, you know, home with the baby, so I could ask her. You know, right. so we, and then mm -hmm. it kind of snowballs. You just kind of meet people. The people in the quilting industry are so generous mm -hmm. with um, their time and just, you know, if they know you like to do something yes. or in the case where Joni was home with the baby, um, you know, give her the work. Oh, sure, let's yeah. let's give Joni the work. Exactly. So, so many, you know, the, we talk about a cottage industry. Yeah. And so many mm -hmm. of the people I've had at this table have had the opportunity to interview. Absolutely, are working out of their homes. It starts very organically. I think mm -hmm. that's a word that maybe gets overused, but it starts very naturally. That yeah, my sister sews. Mm -hmm. Let's give her that project. Or yeah. I need help piecing this. I know somebody mm -hmm. who could do that. Who would exactly. love to do that because she has a little baby. You right. know, it really right. happens very naturally. Right. And I think the quilt industry as we know it today, like you said, it snowballs. I mean, that's absolutely. The function that you all serve in the quilt world is fascinating to me, and it's something people don't maybe think about. But when you have a fabric line uh, from a company, you know, if it's not shown in projects, in quilts, in magazines, in uh, on television shows, people will, might not ever, ever know about it. And so tell me about the things that you sew and how you can serve the fabric. Do you think, do you see yourselves that way as you serve the fabric, you serve? Absolutely. Right. We really work from a different perspective. Yeah. We don't necessarily go, oh, this is a really neat idea for a quilt. We have to look at the fabric and see what yes. the fabric speaks to us Absolutely. as. How to highlight that that line of fabric mm -hmm. into a quilt and make it be the center of the stage. Yes. It also comes from the designers of mm -hmm. the fabric. Um, mm -hmm. Many companies that we work for have several different designers and we meet with the, uh, the um, people at the company mm -hmm. and they'll say, well, uh, this designer just really had a contemporary 
you know, flavor to yeah. this, and you know, she loves to do this or that. And so we try to take that information and then we'll design maybe a contemporary quilt, but then we'll do maybe totes mm -hmm. or some children's clothing mm -hmm. or, how, you know, what other things can we use with this great sure. fabric line and to coordinate make it look the best. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And so we do a lot of different kinds of things. And going back to where we started, you know, garments, tote bags, mm -hmm. um, pillows, mm -hmm. um, as long a anything to complement how that is presented to the public. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, the, all the different skills that people come to this industry with, art, art design, you know, art direction, mm -hmm. uh, these different things, it's amazing how they can bring to bear on what we do now because mm -hmm. the industry is so varied. There's so many different things that you can do here. Mm -hmm. And when you said, you know, the artist or the designer of a certain fabric line had this as her inspiration or, or, or whatnot, some fabric designers don't sew at all, right? No. And it's good that there are people who can, and there are yeah. some, and there are yeah. some teachers who would never yeah. want to be on camera ever, yeah. ever, 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 ever. And you know, mm -hmm. there's all kinds of different ways that we can mm -hmm. serve the industry and can right. serve each other mm -hmm. using our different skill sets. And that's mm -hmm. what I think is so interesting right. about what you do, yeah. because and you do booth design too. Tell me about about that. That's a it's a big project. It's taking uh, maybe one uh, fabric line mm -hmm. and emphasizing that in the booth and making for it market, come alive for a show, for a right? show mm -hmm. setting up the booth and having a theme. Yes. So we do everything from the back drapes and the table covers to the pillows and the patio set and the umbrella that needs to match the patio set. Wow. All I think coordinated. I, yeah, I'm thinking about that umbrella. I've seen some of your work. They're really good. They're very good. And, and just really quick to interject, I want to ask you more questions about that. But for those who don't know, you know, the quilt uh, world to some quilters is just like, well, I make quilts. I'm a quilter and I go shop for fabric and I mm -hmm. love it. But the industry itself, I mean, there are so many shows. There are mm -hmm. trade shows. There are big ones. Mm -hmm. There are smaller ones. And when we talk about booths and, and booth design, what we mean is that when when the vendors are showcasing at these shows, they have a landing place, a, right. mm -hmm. a booth in that show, and and that's what you're what you're and talking about. We have about. to make it look beautiful, exactly, so that it can yeah. sell the fabric. It's their calling right. card mm -hmm. for right. people exactly. who are walking right. around. Exactly, right. yeah. and it is also about the sales. Yes. I mean, we also have to have sales stations that yeah. um, you know the the direct salesman or whoever is um, the salespeople mm -hmm. from the company need to be able to sit down, show the lines, yes. and be in a very comfortable setting. Mm -hmm. I mean, we try to balance that sales station with the display. You don't want overwhelming display because you still need to sit down and look at lines okay. of fabric. Practically, you need to sit yeah. down with you your clipboard mm -hmm. and your calculator yeah. and whatever yeah. and do yeah. that. And that's how right. quilt shop yeah. owners will order fabric from manufacturers yeah. at shows and all that. Right. Yeah. So. What would you say, I want to get a little bit about your families and where you're <laughs> where We should talk about where, where you're located. You're both from Minnesota. Yes, yes. born and now. raised and grown. Okay, mm -hmm. but now you live in... I'm still in Minnesota mm -hmm. and she has deserted. She's deserted. <laughs> she couldn't take <laughs> winters anymore. No. too much. Um, my, <laughs> My family relocated to Illinois. Mm -hmm. We're just north of Peoria, and we I I <laughs> we are loving it. Yeah. It's, it's, the winters are so much it's better. So much better. <laughs> they are a little. Yeah, they are. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's amazing. Ten degrees. How much happier you can be. <laughs> I'll take every degree I can get to hang on to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it is fun. That's yeah. good. And we uh, are very much enjoying the area. Mm -hmm. But you're still working together. But we're of still working together. Of course, it's tailor-made. Well, and in, in Minnesota still. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and the yeah. internet. You know, we do things online. Mm -hmm. We're constantly on the phone. Mm -hmm. So it's it's. Not as easy, but we're we're making it work, and it's it's fun. We enjoy yeah. it. And the team is essentially the two of you, sisters. Right. I don't yes. even think I mentioned that we have <laughs> sisters, and I work with my sister and my yeah. mom too. Yeah. We talked about the family, but um, uh, but you do have satellite folks that help you out. Oh yeah, right? we have a great great, great team, team of well. ladies that work for us. Well, I shouldn't say just ladies because we have sons and nephews mm -hmm. and husbands <laughs> that also help us out and load and and whatever. But. Um, the sewers, we have long arm quilters, we have um, sewers that each have their own niche of, of, of yeah. skill sets Especially as well. Especially the quilting industry. They, you yes. know, some like doing those difficult piecings. Mm -hmm. Some of them really love doing the, the decor things yes. and the children's outfits. So we try to work with, give each of them the project that they enjoy as much. Yeah, And I'm and sure some are faster than others or some oh, are more yeah. detailed. And yes. that's, yeah. if you need something done tomorrow, oh, yeah. you know mm -hmm. who to go to. Yeah, exactly. we, we just cannot say enough about oh, our girls. They are wonderful. fabulous and they just make girl. us, they make <laughs> us look great. We love yeah. Them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, You can't yeah. do it without a good team. No, yeah. yep, we have a great team. That is true. So if you could both, I'll ask you independently, what's your favorite part of your job? Joni, you wanna go first? Oh, that's really hard. I, you know, I really 
part of why we work together is because we enjoy working together. Yeah. But the designing part mm -hmm. for me is really fun to see, to get that fabric line in and try to make it into a quilt that mm -hmm. I love yeah. and she loves and works mm -hmm. yeah. is a really fun experience for me, putting that together mm -hmm. and creating that new piece of art, really. But absolutely, mm -hmm. that wasn't there before. That wasn't there yeah. before yeah. is really fun. It is, yeah. 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 That's, that's good. How about you, Noah? I think my favorite part is probably the people. I think um, just there, like I mentioned before, um, there are just so many people with generous hearts, mm -hmm. and we have met people from all over the world, mm -hmm. and um, we have great team of ladies, people that work for us. They're just best of friends, and you know, family. We mm -hmm. we work together. We our our parents, our husbands, our children. <laughs> everybody yes. pitches in. Yes. And um, and just over the years, the many, many people that have um, have just stepped into our lives and mm -hmm. have become great friends. And mm -hmm. it's it's really, really cool. It's a very cool industry. Someone that worked with my mom said that there who came to it from something else, another mm -hmm. industry, something totally unrelated, was just wowed. Just yeah. couldn't believe mm -hmm. that yeah. people behave the way they did to each other in this mm -hmm. sort of warm way. I mean, of course, it's business, whatever, mm -hmm. but but there is, there is at the core of what you all do, mm -hmm. there are quilts. Yeah. yeah. There's not like an accounting sheet. Well, there, <laughs> there are those too. Yeah. But there yeah. are quilts at the core yeah. of all this. Yeah. And that yeah. is a really interesting place to yeah. start. Yeah. Yeah. And you all make that plane fly every day, <laughs> yeah. sort of behind the scenes. Yeah. To, you know, yeah. to, thank yeah. you so much for coming on the show. Oh, you're welcome. It was a lot of fun to get to know you. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thanks for joining us. watching Quilt with the Stars, and we are back with another episode. Joni Holton, welcome. Thank you. So happy to be here. It's great. It's uh, TaylorMade is the is the company, and Joni Holton is one half of that team. Uh, Melanie, your sis, mm -hmm. helps you out. The big sis. The big yep. sis. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, we're going to talk today about a project that is uh, something that you did. And let's take a look at it on the okay. wall. Uh, tell me a little bit about this project. Uh, this was our basic idea was to get something that was an easy beginner applique quilt. Great. Uh, we wanted it something that was approachable. It's a raw edge applique. And it's got a very modern feel to it. Great. Now, I work with a lot of beginners, mm -hmm. and uh, many of our audience will know what raw edge applique is. But for those who don't, what is raw edge applique? Typically, in applique, you're going to be folding under those mm -hmm. edges when you applique, so it's nice and clean yes. around the edge. And this one, we're not doing that. We're leaving the edges raw and unfolded. And that's a choice that a person can make if they are not comfortable doing needle turn, you know, hand turned applique, mm -hmm. really fancy, uh, or if they need something done more quickly. Quickly. Mm -hmm, which I know that you need to do in your <laughs> line do. of work. Very um, often. So, so let's take a look at the elements of this project. Okay. And we won't, you know, do the full thing today. We won't end up with your gorgeous quilt at the end of our episode. But we certainly can go through the, uh, the tips the techniques and the ways that you achieve this. So what do we have right here? Start with our basic piecing. You're going to want to put the whole quilt top together mm -hmm. before we do any appliqueing on this project uh, because we're not putting it into the seams. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start out with our rows. You're going to take your, your main block, which is 12 and a half inches, and your first piece of lattice. Mm -hmm. And you're going to sew that together in a row. You've got four blocks and two lattice to make your first row. Mm -hmm. Then you take a lattice and your little white square Three lattice, two white squares, sewn so right. together. Uh, you're calling them lattices and or sashing. But I just wanted to make sure yep. sashing or cornerstones. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the terminology can be, you know, it's like, oh, I thought that was this, or you know, or, or even blocks Men's, can change yes. name. You know, a churn dash to one person is mm -hmm. a monkey wrench to another person, and sometimes it's good. Too to many names. Too many names. <laughs> exactly. So the piecing comes first. Yes. Um, and then you. you then come we're going to sew this. our rows together. So you've got your block row and your lattice row. You're going to make a nice long seam all the way across. Mm -hmm. Great. And then, um, and the reason that you've done, you know, you've, you've pieced like fabric to like, but it's because you're giving yourself some guidelines. Is that right? Exactly. For the applique, For the applique. Comes next. It gives you a good base to put your, your uh, starburst on so you can have something to line it up to. I think that's really smart. Very so smart. this is our template for our starburst, but it's a little hard to work with paper, especially mm -hmm. when we're doing something this big. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to want to do is going to make a hard plastic template. Great to work with. And that's kind of popping up. That's kind of popping up. So I have my, my children's lovely art projects. How cool is that? And they work as weights um, very well. I have to grab the snail. <laughs> Wait, hold on. There's one more. Oh, there's one and more. And I just love it. It's my the daughter's snail. snail. <laughs> it's they got a little the, pipe cleaner thing on it. <laughs> anyway, I just like It that keeps one. my kids with me all the time. It's very cool. So that helps you so it stays in position. It's not going to move around. And then I just take a nice, any ruler, straight edge ruler, 
and you're just going to trace your template. Sure. And, and template plastic can be purchased at the quilt shop quilt or at the shop, art store. Anywhere, craft, yeah. And craft there's store. some on rolls, there's some flat, whatever it works. Mm -hmm. Then you're just going to follow those lines. Just yep. like in, in art school. Sure. Art class. Yeah. And as you do that, then you're going to cut out your template. Oh, Great. one pin, yeah. point. Yeah, I always yeah. put the R in the middle. R oh, yes. in yeah. the center for right side. So when it's cut out, I know which side is the right. It's backwards if Ex it's wrong. Right, exactly. It's reversed. It's reversed. Because you will need both, both You need both ways. sides. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so once we have our template, then we're going to move to mm -hmm. the fabric for our squares. So we've got our 12 and a half inch fabric cut. Mm -hmm. And we've got our uh, fusible webbing, whatever kind you like to use. Sure. There's lots of different There's kinds. There's lots in the market. of different brands. And you can go to fonsimporter.com, by the way, for all kinds of information about mm -hmm. supplies, things like that. So you're going to uh, iron that in place, starting from your center and moving out. And why do you do that center out? It helps so you don't have wrinkles, and it helps so it doesn't shift when you're ironing and you get all the glue sticky things mm -hmm. on your ironing Great. pad. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. And then you need to wipe it off. And then, you know, dryer it, sheets are awesome for that. <gasps> I had no idea. You know what? You were giving me tips. I just gave you one. <laughs> you did. Cool. That's very exciting. Now we're going to take our plastic template. Mm -hmm. We're going to place it on our the paper side, which makes it really easy to draw. Mm -hmm. Use my little weights to keep it in oh, place. Where's Mr. Snail? Oh, Snail. Yep. See, he's. You fits. don't really need him, but I want him there. <laughs> and you have a tip My there. tip for appliquing is using mechanical pencils when you're tracing your templates. Mm -hmm. You get a much closer edge, true to your template mm -hmm. when you're tracing. It doesn't and go, it, you know, blunted. It doesn't right, blunted. it's not, it, it's a consistent size, mm -hmm. it doesn't change. But and if you, you mess up, you can erase it. You and, can erase you know. it and you're good to go. And on this, free, the paper, it works beautifully. Great. So you trace all the way mm -hmm. around and this is your end result. Very nice. And then you're gonna go ahead and I, you know, I do this production mm -hmm. style when I do. I do all nine. Yes. Just keep going. I would too. Get them all done, all your right. sets done, and right. then go on to the next step, which is? Which is cutting out your template. So you're just going to follow those lines, cutting out, and mm -hmm. you have your lovely starburst. And your paper is still on back. Mm -hmm. And are you using, uh, what scissors do you, you're cutting through paper, you're cutting through fabric. How do you decide you know, which scissors? I, I use my fabric scissors because okay. that's the main piece that's what's um, most important. Yes, mm -hmm. and I find that if I use my paper, I, the edges get a little rough and sometimes yes. they can fray. Absolutely. And I don't want any fraying yet. You do so much production work. I do have a question. This is okay. a great question for me. It's okay. Do you sharpen your scissors regularly? I try to. Yeah. Typically, I only get it about once a year. Okay. Well, okay, I don't feel so bad because I was like, gosh, I'm really cutting a lot and I'm doing this. How no. often is, is when you, you know. I really, I'm if I'm able to, because if I'm sharpening them, I have to give them to somebody and I'm not using them. Exactly. And that's not usually something I can afford. No. no. So it's typically once a year I get them sharpened. But how much does it cost to get a nice pair of scissors sharpened? Um, it's different everywhere. It's different everywhere. Um, I have a guy who does it for about 10 bucks. Oh, cool. Okay, so great. It's not bad Nothing at bad. all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm learning all kinds okay. of things. Okay. So as Back we to the project. Have, <laughs> as we have this, now, now you can take off your paper backing mm -hmm. because we're going to be placing all of them on our quilt top. We have those guidelines to show us we exactly do. how. So you're going to take that off, and then you can, now we're positioning on. Mm -hmm. And on our quilt, we decided to turn them and not have them all go the same way, but that's what you can do now. This is when mm -hmm. you get to play, turn them, but you're lining them up inside uh, that block area. Yes, that seam. Yep. Cool. Once you have them all happy and where you want them to be, then you can start pressing down and again, center out. Center out. Great. Let's take another look at the project because Wonderful. you added a little embellishment we in there. We did. We thought it needed just a little something else. So yes. we added little white buttons in the center. It's darling. And can you please tell us the name of the long arm quilter who did oh, this quilting? She did such a beautiful job. Her name is Patty Marin. Mm. I love the motif that she did. It almost looks like a little beaded curtain. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. it's a beautiful, Stunning. beautiful job on the quilting. Very cool. Well, Joni, thank you so much from TaylorMade for coming thank on Quilt you. with the Stars. Thanks so much for having me. We'll see you. Hello out there. You're watching Quilt with the Stars. I'm Mary Fonz, and I'm here with Melanie Gresseth from uh, TaylorMade, one half of the dynamic duo. 
Thank Welcome. you. Welcome. Yes, Thank you. you are dynamic, along with your sister <laughs> Joni, who is, um, you are a creative resource. Yes. Tell me a little bit about what that means. Um, we design things, quilts, garments, mm -hmm. um, anything to highlight fabrics. Um, yes. The fabrics are from multiple different um, fabric companies mm -hmm. that we work with, mm -hmm. and um, they just um, call us when yes. they need something for their their fabric line. And they call you a lot and they need a lot and you're able yes. to produce a lot. <laughs> yes. You were telling yeah. me too that you you are, you know, uh, you both design and, and yeah. produce but that there's a really great partnership with you and your sister. Yep. You you need to create a lot and you work together to do that. Beautiful. Yeah, we do. I have a design background mm -hmm. and um, Joni just inherently is very creative herself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have different skill sets but we, we really work together well and um, we brainstorm, we come up with fun ideas, and, and we have a great team of people that work with us to create these wonderful things. And we're gonna look at those things okay. now. Uh, this is Darling. Tell Isn't me about this, this project. Um, this was a fabric line that was just really fresh and modern, mm -hmm. and um, we did do some quilts with it as well. Um, but we wanted something um, a little more three-dimensional mm -hmm. in our displays at the market, so we came up with this cute little dress that um, we had on a mannequin and the complimenting purse. And we also try to make it attractive attractive to that quilter customer. So we did mm -hmm. do the piecing in the skirt and yes. it's layered. Um, it's no zippers, because quilters don't like zippers. No, we don't. <laughs> but it, it, it's a fairly easy project to it's put together. really great. You know, these fabrics that, that are so popular right yeah. now are perfectly suited for yeah. little dresses like this. Yeah. They're just adorable. Yeah. And now this is a holiday project with lots this, of different components. This, our challenge was, um, this is a panel. Um, our manufacturer, Benertex, had um, this line and this had a panel, which included this piece, these um, images, and then the images, these four images. So mm -hmm. our challenge was, if a quilter was to buy this panel, what could they do with it? And so we pulled it apart. We added a few of the complementing fabrics. Mm -hmm. We made little window hangers for mm -hmm. your kitchen windows, pot holders, coasters. This is a door hanger to hang your Christmas cards on. And then we trimmed some towels. So yeah. we try to think through how could somebody make a wonderful hostess gift with buying a one yard panel. Mm -hmm. so and you, you, you use the word challenge. You know, our challenge was, do you see that as, you know, when you get a, a oh yeah, a, it's a challenge, to, it's a problem it to solve. It is very problem solving. And you had a and it's this a problem <laughs> to solve with this, right? Can, tell uh, me first, what are strike-offs? Tell um, me what that is. Strike-off fabric is when, in the process of designing fabric, um, the manufacturer, the mill overseas, will send small pieces of fabric where it's hand screen printed mm -hmm to get the color correct and right. then make sure the designs are correct and everything. And that's the last time you can make any changes, right? right? It's you like, can make yeah. tiny little changes, yeah. but oftentimes, because of the schedule, the fabric company wants to highlight this at their market, yes. but we don't actually have fabric. We only have strike-off fabrics. That's a problem. Which are maybe... It's a challenge. Yes, it's a challenge, and it's maybe only 12 by 12 mm. in many cases. Yeah. And so we got this pile of strike-off fabric the week before market. Hello. And oh, make something. And yeah. they usually just say make something. So l luckily with EQ, we can do the math mm -hmm. and we can figure out how many pieces, how many squares can I get out of this dot? Not many. Not many, <laughs> but we can do it. And yes, so, you do. Um, this I strategically cut and got all our squares out, mm -hmm. and I had literally just shreds of the fabric left. I made a little corsage for market. <laughs> just, That's why yeah. you do what you do, because yeah. you're solving problems like yep. that all yep. the time. And we try to embellish right. and make it cute, and it was just enough to show off the fabric. And it's adorable, and I bet yeah. people will ask you for this. By the way, what's your website? Can you give it the address? Um, our so website can... is silkquiltcraft.com, and we have fabric kits and some of the fabrics and some patterns on there as well. Check it out. Show me this. Another other. dimensional piece, we try to do totes. Mm -hmm. um, along with our quilts just mm -hmm. to show off um, another way to use the fabric. Absolutely. Great so. for scrappy, you know, yeah. you need to... Carries everything. Absolutely. Needs These to be so, big. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, if you're taking a quilt to a long armor, like, you, it's yeah. hard to find a bag that's big enough for yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so let's get into these okay. quilts. Bring these over. So... Or the table runners first, yeah? Yeah, we've got some placemats. Great. And again, this is just different ways to highlight uh, colorations of a line of fabric. Most li fabric lines have several colorations. Yes. And that is also wow. part of our challenge is to show all the different fabrics. Mm -hmm. So um, this was one way to show the different gorgeous colorations of this line. So autumn, autumnal, yep. mm -hmm. fall, yep. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yep. Great. And this is also patterned mm -hmm. and um, available. On the website. Um, oh, actually, Keepsake. Keepsakes. Does kit sure. this. Yep. Sure. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, next up. Nice. Uh, just a simple Christmas mm -hmm. runner. Um, and I believe this was highlighted in one of the Love of Quilting magazines it's a great. while back. It's so. great. It's so important to see, to have these projects. It's not just for fun. Right. It's to, it's to help sell the fabric because someone might look at that plaid and say, well, I really like that plaid, but yeah. I'm not sure how to use it. And so you're really giving right. them guidance and helping the fabric companies sell the fabric that they make, which of course is, you know, that's yep, their business. That's the goal. And that's our yeah. job. I mean, yeah. that's the way we look at it too. Mm -hmm. It's a problem. Um, one of the things we do try to do is to try to think outside the box yes. a little bit as well. And this was uh, a line of uh, few years ago oh. of paper dolls and this was something we wanted really to make adorable. interactive so we did the paper doll clothes with um, oh. batting on the back oh so gosh. that you can have we have all different outfits for the little girls and and it actually does stick the batting holds to the cotton oh fabric gosh. pretty well so you probably wouldn't get a lot of nap time in, but probably it would be not. fun to play with. Totally. Yeah. This must have been popular. It I mean, was. People... This, the, the paper dolls have been just a really fun trend to to Absolutely. Take have. Yeah, they're so cute. They're little. Yeah. They're little night shirts. <laughs> and this, uh, of course, we get all sorts of things. And again, not really having a style, but mm -hmm. baby is fun to work with. Of this course. is a line um, from Blend Fabrics that we worked with last market, and it's just a playful, playful line. And we try to, you know, design off that. We did a little folded edge here, just for a little dimension to yeah, it. something sure. a little different. Absolutely. Um, that adds a little texture to the quilt. I'm so impressed by you all how you can take any colorway, any fabric style, any, and serve that line. I mean, that's just, it's a skill that not everybody would have. Yeah. Some people have one sort of aesthetic, they stick to yeah. it. I may be guilty of that, I don't know. My mom <laughs> kind of does one thing when she goes further afield, you know, she has fun, whatever. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, same with me. But you all can really, can really make it, make it happen. I do want to point out that this fabric has hippopotamuses, giraffes, and dinosaurs. <laughs> We're just, you know, we're kind of, anyway, that's neither here nor there, but <laughs> it's funny. And butterflies. And okay. again, this is another little uh, playful line we did, worked with last market. We just had so much fun with it because we both have girls. Oh my gosh. And this, um, we added the purse. Just, uh, to, uh, just yeah. for a while. And what a purse it is. <laughs> yeah, it's very fun. A little it's, blank. Yeah, it's called Glamour. And our display, um, we had covered boxes and we had, uh, you know, high heel pink shoes with big puffy black Puffs on it. Yes. So it just needed something a little dimensional for, yeah. for the display, which is. Yes. And we have to think through that whole process when we're designing as well. So what, what goes on the wall? What goes in front of it? What pops? And what catches the eye? Right. right. Because there are the many eye. booths. So you right. need to really, right. that's part of selling. Part of your job is to right. get people to look. Right. Exactly. This is very so cool. So this was just, and it's very simple but fun. Yeah. It's great. It's great, great, great. Um, one of the other things is when we're working with patterns, because mm -hmm. we do write patterns for a lot of the quilts that we do. Some are available through the manufacturer oh, and some that. are available um, on our website. Or This is the same quilt, but done in two different mm -hmm. colorations mm -hmm. to show just styling and how, how you can take you know, something that maybe is kind of earthy yes. and make it more bright and punchy with the blue and the gold. Oh, I love that gold and that sort of denim blue is yeah. great. Yeah. I have a question for you. I am seeing on the backs of your quilts some pretty basic muslin on pretty much everything. Can you tell me why? Well, I think it's because it's production. I mean, we just work with so many yes. quilts. Yes. And oftentimes we do get backing fabrics from our, our um, manufacturers, but mm -hmm. we're kind of kick it out quilters. Absolutely. I mean, we have a lot to get do. Muslin's easy and it's, um, it's, it's, it's just less expensive. Less than doing expensive for absolutely. what we do. So you just have it by the bale. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> That's good. Who did the quilting on this? This is lovely. Um, do you remember? Uh, you might not remember, but I know. You I think great. Amy Albre Albrecht did the okay. the red one, mm -hmm. and I think Naomi Pelzine did the blue one. Gorgeous. Yeah, we have great, great team. Great team. Yep. yep, they're they both are very talented ladies. Cool. So many long armors. Yep. They just, oh yeah. They just are, aren't they? So good. Um, and I think we work with a couple of the companies Ooh. we work with Ooh. do reproduction fabrics. Mm, and like so we also do a lot of research um, when we're designing for a line of fabric, mm -hmm. especially with the reproduction, to try to find patterns and designs that complement that fabric. Um, this line was called Newtown Commons, and so we did the Boston Commons um, mm -hmm design with mm -hmm. it to kind of enhance the fabrics. And it was a very, it turned out beautifully. It's mm -hmm. my favorite so far. 
Yeah, and we love it. We actually, when we wrote the pattern on this, um, we did it as a strip quilt. Yes. And um, side note, Joni put this together and did a beautiful job, of course. Nice job, um, Joni. Put it. <laughs> put it together, held it up for her husband before it was quilted, mm -hmm. mind you, it was just the yes. top, and he said, um, I think something's wrong. And she, her eyes got big. She had <laughs> oh, really? flipped, she had flipped one of the rows. <laughs> and so it was like, she didn't notice it when she was sewing it. So. But he caught it. Oh, he caught it, yeah, thank Good. God, before it was quilted. Yeah, no um, So she had to rip and tear a little bit out yeah, before you really, we <laughs> You really don't have time to unquilt no. something. <laughs> no, this really. is stunning, I absolutely yeah. love it. Thank you. Very cool. And the um, this is popular now, bed runners for the mm -hmm. end of beds. Yes. And so we we also try to follow trends yeah. and um, and have available patterns and designs that complement that. And again, in colorations and doing something more mm -hmm. in a traditional Civil War reproduction fabric sure. and something in a little more bright. These are different rooms, aren't they? Very different mm -hmm. rooms, um, but the same pattern and the same same quilt design. I love quilting. Isn't, Isn't it, it fun? fun? I mean, it look is. at that. They're completely different, but they're the yeah. same. But they're yeah. different. Yeah. I'm getting very deep. They're the same, but they're different. Yeah. Uh, no, it's great. And you have the skill to be able to yeah. see it before it's even made in the different ways that it could be. Right. We have a couple more quilts here, yeah. and then we're going to take a look at a few on the wall. So okay. bring out the next. Um, this was just something that was very light and airy. The line, lent, we really needed to find a way to highlight it Yes. that was... Um, just softer. Yes, absolutely. And, and I do like circles, so it you comes from, mm -hmm. Joni, not so much. But oh, is that she, right? Yeah, well, because she ends up sewing more of them oh, than yeah. I do. She's like, I don't so, really like And circles. this also was a challenge because we had a panel to work with. Mm -hmm. So these were art panels, mm -hmm. and how do you work that into a quilt without just, like, putting the panel in it, you know? Exactly. So um, this, that's kind of where we started with this, but that it was, was fun, challenge. and it was a great way for it to yeah. turn out. Yeah. They're like, the circles turn into sort of like uh, dandelions that yeah. are being blown away. Yeah. It's really, really cute. And these are a couple of just big ones that we um, had fun with. Um, this is one of our kids' favorites. Oh, I'm yeah, trying to course, see which way it goes. Of course, of um, With our fish. Nice little fish. And it's a very graphic line. This was done by Anna, the line was by Anna Griffin. Yeah. And it was, um, it had these elements of ocean and sea, but it was yeah. still very graphic. Mm -hmm. um, so this was just a fun way to enhance that line. This is kind of like a Greek motif. Yeah. It's like a Mediterranean yeah. ocean. Kind of, yeah. Oh, it's awesome. So, yeah, it was fun to put together. Man, you guys are good. You know, at the beginning, I was folding these so nicely. Now oh, I'm no, kind of like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm just like, sort them of together. pooping them over. Oh, I like the back of this one, like burlap or something. Yeah, that was part of the line, which is kind cool. of a sand. And this was a fun one that we did, and this is an applique, mm -hmm. um, like Joni did in her de demonstration, it's just a raw edge applique. Circles to um, your sister. <laughs> yeah, and that, yeah, I torture her that way. Mm -hmm. um, but these are pieced, and then we applique the center circle off center. Great. So we, we're trying to play off the, oh, yeah. the, the circles, but not quite circles, sure. so it kind of makes it fun that way. Totally fun. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at the quilt yeah. that is on the wall to our right. This one has been uh, featured in, or will be featured in Love of Quilting magazine. Yeah. That's yeah. where you can find it. Tell me, we did a how-to uh, segment on yep. this quilt. Yep, and that, again, is the raw edge applique. Mm -hmm. And just meant to be a fun patio table uh, square or something like that, or a throw quilt on your patio. Yep. Um, it's a new line um, from Contempo Fabrics, mm -hmm. which is a subsidiary of Benertex. Sure. And they are... Just launching that at the news at the spring market this year. So. Very cool yeah. in color. That's yeah, that's very bright contemporary fabrics, absolutely. which is fun to work with. We we really enjoy working with all the different kinds. It shows yeah. this is a very exuberant yeah. project. Yeah. Now let's come over here. Speaking of contemporary, and and tell me about this. Yeah, one. that's another contemporary line. Simple. It looks more difficult than it is. Mm -hmm. It's three blocks, three big blocks oh, okay. with the circles appliqued. And it's a pattern that we has just gotten a lot of attention because I think of the modern quilt movement. Yes. It's and it's a simple beginner quilt. I mean, I know it doesn't look beginner, but it's got pattern pieces. Yep. Big so, shapes. Big pattern shapes. Pieces. Simple. Mm -hmm. Put together. Looks so it's kind of fun. That, that improv look. Yep. yep. Absolutely. Very fun. And then our little Christmas tree. This is tree. our fun dimensional piece. This is just a very three-inch blocks with this um, your little quilted bows sewn right in the seam. Little pom poms. This is a printed border. Yep. So it's very simple put together as yeah. well. It's almost a, not a cheater fabric. I mean, it's, it, but yeah. it looks a little bit like yeah. you spent a lot yeah. of time piecing yeah. little tiny squares. Yeah, but it's not. 
And if you uh, can show me here, what is our last project that we're looking at? This is uh, an, an Anna Griffin line from last um, spring, Sh Shinaseri, and mm -hmm. Anna always has a theme to her, mm -hmm. her fabrics, and so this was very Asian oriental, and she wanted something geometric. And um, she's great to work with because we really bounce off each other well. Mm -hmm. And so we um, presented a couple designs. This is one she picked, and it, I love the way it turned out. I love out. it too. Yeah. The interlocking shapes. Yeah. It's cool. You know, while we have you here, can you show me where the block is? Because I it's, really it's had trouble. We're gonna, I'm going to kind of <laughs> switch it up, and we're going to go to the quilt and look yeah. because I don't think it, people can see. It's a very large block. It's mm -hmm. just not, um, six blocks that are like from here to here, right? Very, yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. and so it, cool. Yep. Yeah, you guys are solving problems pretty well. Well, let's uh, come <laughs> back to the table and I can sort of thank you officially, yeah. uh, Melanie, for coming to Quilt with the Stars. And, and yeah. as we go, um, what, is, what is, when you get uh, uh, your assignment, what's the first thing that you do? Do you go to the computer? Do you sit down with graph paper? What is the first? Some of both, yeah, actually. Okay. I, I guess Joni and I spend a lot of time talking through it. We mm -hmm. brainstorm a lot. Um, we have different reference books or, um, you know, there's a lot of resources for references, mm -hmm. but typically we just kind of brainstorm and then we go to EQ or graph paper, depending on what our idea is. Yeah. Um, sometimes EQ works, sometimes it's easier to scribble. I'm a doodler, so I tend to scribble first and then we kind of try to work it out mechanically. Cool. Then. I ask because not only is it part of what you do and part of what we want to learn about you, but also, you know, people who are designing at home, that's how it happens. You yeah. know, if you want to design something for, from scratch, that's what you'll do too. You know, yep. you scribble, you go to the computer, you talk to your friends, you brainstorm, yep. get out your colored pencils, yep. and that's how these things are created. Yep. Thank you, Melanie, You're so welcome. much for coming on yep, the show. It's been fun. Good. We'll see you next time on Quilt right. with the Stars. Bye. This episode of Quilt with the Stars is brought to you by Baby Lock for the love of sewing and Koala Cabinets, sewing furniture custom built in America.